Hello my soccer universe and yeah I'm gonna show you another jersey from my collection I said well since I have the Austria slash Germany background up I might as well show you another German uh, team and it's of course a German team that is in everyone's uh, everyone's talking about which is of course Eintracht Frankfurt this I bought last season from the Eintracht store itself um, because I realized I really need an Eintracht Frankfurt shirt. They were at that point where I bought it, they were very well on course to play in the Champions League, which, um, yeah, at the end they missed out on, although they had a really, really, really perfect position in that one. I have to say, to me, Eintracht Frankfurt for a long time didn't have what I call a proper Eintracht shirt, which is a red and black. And I know that there is precedence that they had like a black and white as club's colors. But when I grew up, Frankfurt was always playing in red and black and I know that because I was always thinking yeah I'm a, I'm a Milan fan let's let look at for other red and black teams especially in, Ger in, in Germany so I always had a little bit of a liking for Eintracht Frankfurt problem is that uh, at times they had um, you know players slash coaches like Top Müller that I didn't really like all that much although in the early 90s Eintracht Frankfurt was a pretty exciting sight to watch uh, so I was very happy. I, I remember what, watching the first uh, day of the season uh, of the, um, this is now the 2021 season, uh, watching Bundesliga and seeing Eintracht Frankfurt in this jersey. And I was thinking, this looks like an Eintracht shirt. Finally, again, after all this black and black and white, uh, um, uh, black and white or this weird barcode type kit, I said, this looks awesome. Um, at least in... When I saw it uh, leaked, I was not so sold on it because I thought yeah, the, the black stripes are not as big as they should be. And what is this weird pixelated graphic on there? And then it all clicked and made sense. To me, this is a really, really, really nice Eintracht shirt. Okay, the red is maybe dominant, but given that we have a black back, and I'll show you the back in a, in a, a bit, and we have the black sleeves. I actually think it is very well balanced. The graphic is what really sold me. Uh, if you look at it, you may not be able to make it out at, at first, but this here is basically, uh, should resemble the roof of the um, town hall, the Römer in Frankfurt. Once I got that, I thought this is absolutely perfect. This is not only putting on the club colors that I like best on a Frankfurt shirt, but add to it that um, it uh, incorporates some local flavor as well. So really, really well done, uh, Nike. The one thing is, I mean, the Frankfurt guys officially is in red. Here in black, it makes a whole lot of sense, to be honest, but uh, I always wondered, couldn't it have been here in red as well? Or why don't change it to black? Because I think Eagles are in black anyway. So I think if Frankfurt would change their crest to an all black, I think this would make a whole lot of sense. I, I, I remember, I mean, when I grew up in the 90s, it was a more modern Eagle. When they came back for, I think, for the centenary season with this logo, it is just, I absolutely love it. This is a really, really nice Eagle logo. Now, uh, there are a few more things that I have to talk about this jersey. When I, as I said, I bought it from the Eintracht store. And this is the fan version. This is not the official replica. And you can tell because um, the color is not, the, they had this weird uh, double fold over. This is uh, the cheaper, they sold it for 50, the cheaper version with a normal color. Um, and also on the back, and I'll show you the back. Of course, I, I got name and number on it. The back is also rather plain, where is on the replica, you would have here uh, the pattern from the front continuing. But I gotta say, um, material-wise, and we get to silver in a second, material-wise, it is a slightly different material than you get on a replica. It's a little bit more like, um, it's, a thick, it's a thicker fabric, it's not as breathable. On the other side, it reminds me a bit of, um, you know, running jerseys or whatever. It's not a bad mat material, and I think it's a better looking shirt for that. Because yes, I would love it if this pattern continues on the back, but what I really didn't like is uh, when they just had here uh, the, the pattern continued and the rest is black. I also think it's a better color, to be honest. Um, I probably would have gone for the replica if it was for a decent price. The problem, literal problem was that Frankfurt jerseys at that time did not come down in price. You could only order it from the Frankfurt store and I think you still cannot order this one. 
And uh, so I went uh, with this one and I was not unhappy because I said I really like the way uh, it looks and feels. It is an official product. The one thing I do regret, I mean, it came with a DPD sleeve logo. I would have gotten the free uh, Bundesliga logo and in, while ordering, I got so um, excited that I forgot to put the Bundesliga logo on there. This is one regret that I have. However, I got free printing. Pr uh, I still paid the 50 bucks that it cost, but they had, an, uh, this was uh, March or April last year, they had free printing uh, on the back. And since I really like uh, the German teams that they put the team name on here and uh, for the home jerseys they put Eintracht, for the away jerseys they put Frankfurt. A little bit like in baseball um, uh, uh, on their jerseys. And then I said, well, we, which player? I could have gone for an Austrian player, but no. It was Andre Silva. Um, and he had an amazing season. I mean, only Lewandowski scored more than him. And I always liked him. Even though he's playing for the old... I mean, he played for Milan. He only scored against Austria Vienna, which is actually a positive. But other than that, he didn't score a, a whole lot. And he went to Sevilla, where at first he scored a, scored a lot and then didn't do any, anything. And then he was sold for, uh, by Milan to Frankfurt. But he, he, he did really well. And now he's playing at Leipzig, where he's again a little bit down. I see kind of a little bit an up and down, but I always like, liked him and he was uh, absolute, absolutely on fire in this one. And so, yeah, I absolutely, uh, I also like the, um, the lettering style, the series are uh, uh, kind of interesting, especially on the silver end and, and, and so on the, you know, here they go this way on the top and this way on the bottom. So I really, really liked it. And also, you know, having the logo, which is now standard, but I have, have, have so it's a very pleasing, jersey to me it's a little it's uh special uh in the sense that it's a slightly different material it was a little bit cheaper but i thought yeah if i have the option i want to try out the fan shirts as well to kind of give give you feedback now i do regret actually i mean i really like this one i want to get a home jersey however i do regret of not getting the away jersey because that one was awesome this one looked really really nice you know it was white with the um, uh, black color and a little bit red on on, on the sides and they now played twice in that one uh, in the in, in the run to the Europa League final uh, so that would have been a nice pick up as well but you know cannot win them all I do like their current season the all black uh, home jersey with a little bit red is also really really nice but for me this is more of a Frankfurt look so yeah let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.